local news source. This is breaking news. Right now at four o'clock, we are on the scene of the end of what was a police chase on the northeast side. It all started with gunshots fired near 42nd and Post Road. These are the early details our Kevin Rotterman is learning in Mobile News Tracker. Kevin, where are you right now and what else do we need to know this morning? Good morning. I'm standing near 30th and Grand. This is just to the east of the Emerson intersection where IMPD confirms this is where the police chase came to the end. You see the suspect's vehicle where the driver refused to stop. Uh, the vehicle was disabled when the driver pulled up onto a parking block in a, a church's parking lot, unable to go any farther. Now, this all started a little more than an hour ago near the 42nd and Post and 42nd and Midhofer area where someone called in that someone fired shots into a home. That victim was able to describe the vehicle and the direction the driver was heading and officers were able to spot them soon afterwards. They attempted to pull that car over, but I'm told that that driver led officers on a chase all the way here to near 38th and Emerson where their vehicle became disabled and three out of the four juveniles inside attempted to flee on foot. All four were taken into custody. Now, during all of this, there were many police cars involved in this. When the chase suddenly came to an end, multiple police cars were still pulling into the area and driving around and unbeknownst to one of them there was a large ditch right here you can see that dark shaded area by the tree that is a very deep ditch where this police uh, car was completely pulled into it when I arrived you could not see the top of the car now everyone is okay the officer inside of that vehicle was not hurt but they were inside that ditch so far down where you could not see it just from where I am standing they just got that police car pulled back out and like I said no one was hurt in all this all four juveniles have been taken into custody and now they're moving on to a more uh, of an investigative part of, of, of the crime scene just to try to find out exactly what happened and piecing this all together. So if you live in the area, I do recommend avoiding it, but it's not causing any major traffic implications. Reporting live on the northeast side in the mobile news tracker, I'm Kevin Rotterman. All right.